switch your mindset from an employee to a self-employed person, you have to switch your mind from being paid to earning to get paid because there's no free lunches. I learned a lot my first month and I learned if I was able to make money, I make my client understand that they have me. Hi, my name is Daria and welcome to Introwise. And I would like to remind you that Introwise is all about inspiration, tech, and business. How could you make commission 100 plus percent from one insurance policy? You will get the answer to this question right now. Today with us is health insurance agent, Jesse Porov. Hi, Jesse. Hi, how are you? Thank you for having me today. I appreciate it. To warm up, as I know, 92% of insurance agents quit their jobs and just 5% work in the health insurance industry. So how do you manage your business the way to succeed? That's a great question. <laughs> yeah, I do know a lot of people quit very early on in their career. It's a very tough uh, industry. Um, I think, like I said, one of my mentors, uh, Johnny Pineda, like he mentioned in the past, it's uh, an industry of helping others and serving and giving. Um, with that in mind, um, in your heart in the right place, um, you can go far in this industry. So I think that's the reason to my success so far. But Jesse, as you know, many beginners quit the first in a, in a year. How not let it go down? So... A lot of it has to do with meeting the right person at the right time and having the ability for the consumer to have the right tools, you know, to meet me at the right time at their convenience, because I serve their time. And uh, I think, as uh, we all know, one of the main reasons I'm here today is because of IntraWise. Um, it helps me as an insurance producer, but assists my clients in the process to assist them at the right time. And I think that's one of the main differences between me and a lot of people is that I'm there at the right time because of the right systems and processes that I have in place. How do you help customers uh, to find the right insurance? What is your approach to customer service? The approach to customer service is very easy. Um, give them what they want. <laughs> don't, don't lie to them. Uh, don't make it complicated and show them exactly what they need. Um, I show everything to them. And I think the second best thing that I do is I screen share everything to them. So that's how I stay on top of everything and have no issues long-term. How insurance agents could be more passionate, helpful to their clients? I take a direct approach. I don't like to kind of beat around the bush. Um, and I just enjoy talking to people. So I'm always a people person. I'm very extroverted, but my approach is very unique where I do listen to my client. Um, listening is probably one of the biggest things that I do best. Um, I can listen and then understand there is a solution and then keep fact finding to find a better solution. Um, so listen, fact find, and then as you fact find, you find a better solution in the process. Uh, how could you describe uh, your um, ideal client, your target audience uh, you built around your service? Yeah. So one of the answers I'm going to give to that, and I like to tell everyone this, you create your audience. You create your ideal client. Like they don't find you. You create it. Okay. So my ideal audience are individuals. Uh, who obviously have small businesses, uh, individuals who just recently lost their jobs. My ideal audience would be um, ideally startups and individuals and families who just lost their coverages most recently. You handle health insurance business with national recognized uh, companies, uh, um, but it's all about reselling process. So you have commission on that, but no base salary at all. As I understand, uh, how do you handle it? Uh, work like that, it's like uh, examination of thick skin. Yeah, I mean, it's not easy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's definitely not, but... I don't know. I just actually never thought about it in those terms. I've always told myself, 
Um, it's an opportunity to meet people. I love meeting you. I love seeing you. Let me help you. And I think with that opportunity comes compensation. What would you suggest uh, for the insurance agents who just start from scratch insurance uh, uh, business uh, like yours? Uh, what missteps would you avoid if we took it back? Switch your mindset from an employee to a self-employed person who's an entrepreneur. You know, you're starting a business from scratch, um, understanding that from the get-go would help you you know, bootstrap the ability to find clients, you know, get out in the open space. And I learned a lot my first month and I learned if I was able to make money, that was good for me. Uh, but would I advise that to everyone? If I had to think back, I probably would have start part time. It just makes most complete sense. There's absolutely great opportunity no matter where you're at. But the main thing is a, um, it's a mind shift. Uh, you have to switch your mind from being paid to earning to get paid because there's no free lunches. There won't be no more free lunches. So the mindset is definitely a key component. Absolutely. Nice. What are the biggest struggles in running an online business, insurance business you coped with when you were the new one? I think the biggest thing that I did struggle with at the beginning was, you know, the systems. I go back to it because Although I can meet you in person, I struggle to book a call. I struggle to get in front of you at the right time. Um, I was always at the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, one of the other biggest struggles that I had was I didn't know what you were looking for. Um, I had a hard time understanding their needs and wants. Um, but after I discovered a few things, how things worked and making myself available at the right time, the needs and wants were solved. So that's why I always go back to an agent's like, you need to be ready at their time frame, be ready at their present moment. Because if you're available for them at that moment, their needs and wants are exposed and they are expressing interest in what they actually desire at that very moment. So that was one of the biggest struggles I had because I knew I had to meet you at the right time. If I didn't, I can just literally talk to you right now and go, okay, why are you looking for insurance? You're going to tell me, oh, I don't care. I, I will literally have those conversations. So that's when I started to understand. I was like, wait, I got to meet each individual and business owner at the pain point at the right time. And that's what I strategize in daily, every single day. How many people can I meet at the right time today that will tell me their problem so I can solve their problem? That's how I take my approach to things here. What helps you to understand uh, what are the right time for the client to meet you online and uh, just use this time to um, offer your service? Like it started with the time, their location, and their county. Um, whether in 52 states, because I'm located in 52 states, I needed to understand that. And once I understood that, then I knew I can reach more people at that time. Then I started understanding the needs and wants from that problem. Uh, so <laughs> each person's different. So that's that's the beauty thing about insurance. It's everyone's different. But to do that process, I just had to go back to my current clients and just literally jot my memory when, where, and how. And then after that, I asked them the questions. Why did you look for insurance that day, that time? And some of them, you'd be, sure, you'd be very shocked. Oh, I remember that day clearly, JC. It's a very horrible day. I got laid off. I went through this. And you start understanding. It's like, oh, okay, they went through that. So let me see if I can find that situ situation in another location. And that's how I discovered like my niches. Nice. Um, uh, and one more thing. Uh, most people who leave the market um, say, Mm, the juice is not worth uh, the squeeze. <laughs> the biggest problem is clients, of course. How often do clients come up uh, uh, to your service? What is the secret of the first client? How do you retain them uh, with you for a long way? So everyone that I have enrolled in the last four or three years, they're still with me. My very first 15 clients are still with me. I mean, a lot of them are. Some have left, of course. Um, 
How do I do that? It's very easy. It's automations. Uh, second, personalized thank you cards. And I meet them in person. I, my clients are my friends. Um, I've always told them that. But I think what set me apart from the get-go is that uh, I followed up manually. Um, at, at first, I still have, I enrolled a new client today. They're still going to get a, a phone call from me. It's not, a, it's not my assistant. It's not another. It's me. And so I make my client understand that they have me. And I'm always there. But that all started with your first client. If you took care of your first client right, the ripple effect started the right way. Now, if you didn't do it the right way from the get-go, just go back and reinforce it. It, it doesn't hurt, but oh. that's pretty much how I would recommend anyone doing it. Could we fix it one more time uh, to get more referrals? What um, just beginners in the insurance field should do? And then what they should absolutely do is have a follow-up system campaign, 30, 60, 90 days, 180 days, and make sure they touch point with them as they promised. Um, and then, you know, see if they have any issues. Uh, I can't tell you how many times my clients didn't have an issue that same day, but 30 days later, something else happened. But if I didn't follow up, I'll have never figured that out. What they should avoid is making promises they cannot keep. Uh, and what I mean by that, it's lying to them. Um, don't tell them this policy does this or this health insurance. Just explain the fact finds to the T, okay? Even the professionals are sometimes are old-fashioned. They are making cold emails and, call, and cold calls. How do you assist clients the right way and not to be ignored? Um, I, I, like to, I like to ask permission when I speak to them. It's like my first text, phone call, whatever. I'll ask permission. They'll say, no, I didn't. Oh, yeah, thank you for asking. And I, I can't tell you how many times people are being bombarded with so many phone calls and just assuming that they actually search for it. But if you actually call Daria and say, hey, I just want to ask permission. Did you take care of this today? Were you actually looking for this? I just want to get your permission to help you. If the clients told you, I'm busy, I don't have time, don't bother me, how do you react? How to how you should react to if you're a professional in the field? If they told me they're busy and they were interested, I just tell them, I'd, hey, I'd just love to book a call with you at your convenience. Send you my calendar link and that's done. I will never force it. Yeah. That's why I love my systems and process how I do it. It's just very easy for them to find me, search me, you know, look at my website. Like I'm just everywhere. Like, okay, this guy's legit. Yeah, let me book a call. Okay, boom. Because now they have to go through the trust process. So and yeah. that, and that's okay. That's great that you work in health insurance business. There are not much of the professionals in this sector of the insurance field. Um, how did you choose this niche? Life insurance field and as I know, it is the most lucrative type of uh, insurance business. How do you, how does commission work nowadays? How is it possible to do a 100 plus commission? I mean, uh, everyone needs uh, life insurance, okay? I think that's the main reason why everyone should have it. Um, I think the difference what made me special in the, in the industry is that there is there isn't one person that I know that I have not helped under any circumstance or any budget. I have a solution for any budget. Um, and I think with life insurance, it people assume they're going to pay $300, $300 a month. People assume that it's going to be the worst case scenario. But I think if they were just to get a quote and understand their options, uh, because there is a lot of options, they would, they would understand real quick the value, not just in a business perspective, but as a retirement and a liquidation asset protection plan. How did you start using Introvice? How did you find us? How did you find Introvice? How did I start? Um... Well, I started using IntraWise to book one-on-one -on -one meetings with my current clients. 
And then from there, I got their feedback because IntroWise is easy to use. It's, uh, it's one link, it's simple booking, everything's in one location and my clients don't have to download anything. When I started to discover that, I figured, hey, let me try to see if I can prospect as well with this link. And I can't tell you how easy my prospects were able to book a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me less than two minutes. And they were very happy to hear that they didn't have to download any links. <laughs> so <laughs> I think uh, that's probably the most important thing I would have to say today about that. How did you find it? It just was uh, just uh, by chance or how was it? No, I was searching. Uh, I think okay. prior to uh, prior to IntraWise, I, I had to use various other competitors, Zoom being included, whereby, you know, all the other competitors I can think of where um, I try to make an online conversation super easy and a video call super easy to manage. Uh, I, I did fall upon IntraWise at one point, but when I did find them, I read on your website, it was very easy. It's like a one-stop shop video call included, booking included, scheduling included. It was one of everything I was looking for. And I was like, okay, I have to try it. And once I tried it, the rest is history. Did you compare Interwise to other platforms um, or you found and it was enough? Why do you hate Zoom? Yeah, it's, it's nothing wrong with Zoom. Anyone using Zoom is great. But if you're anything in my field of profession and you want to move quickly, um, Zoom is a little slow because you're going to have your client download a link. And I can't tell you how many times I lost deals just because my client was like, hey, I'm having a hard time with Zoom, just downloading a link. You got to understand, I'm doing Medicare. People are over 60. They're like, yeah, you know, I don't know how to do this. And even the young girl, young girl or guy, 26, 30 year old, still saying, well, I don't want to download it. So I had a, I, once I had that issue, I was always in a hunt for something better than that. And that's how I came upon IntraWise at one point, which I'm very blessed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do your colleagues uh, use IntraWise? A lot of people don't want to switch because they're not thinking about their customer experience. Could we say that they are losing the opportunity and money when they uh, don't uh, I use interwise? Yeah, I mean, they're definitely losing the opportunity of meeting more people efficiently and simple and serving their clients. Absolutely, I would say they're losing and more importantly, to make money. Yeah, being virtually in different states, that's a big deal. Having the ability to have my clients book at their time zones, making it easy for them. Like I'm, I can't emphasize how easy it is to use it with IntraWise. How Enterprise helps you monetize your online business rapidly? Could you say you doubled your monetization? Oh yeah, oh, 100%. <laughs> I've earned my money back in two deals back in Enterprise and that happened within two weeks. So yeah, I mean, anyone who's gonna plunge into Enterprise, I can guarantee they're gonna make more than what they were earning now. I would say their ROI will increase by 40 to 50% easy. I mean, okay. by doubling 100%, if you want to some exact numbers, I would have to go back and look on my numbers. But I know for a fact, when I was using Zoom, other products, my booking that week was like minimum, you know, six to like eight. When I started using IntraWise, I started seeing that number double from like six to 10 or 10 to 15 that week. How did you find your first client? Using IntraWise or you mean my first client first client? client. Just How? Without. I was walking on the street and I went to a business owner's office and I just presented myself what I was doing. And she, he said, uh, she said no, but the, the consumer that was there for that, that business owner, she heard me and she's like, hey, I'm interested. And um, yeah, that I booked her that day. And um, yeah, we, that was my first client. Your best business advice. My best business advice. Yeah. My learn, learn how to have systems and processes and learn from better people than you. 
Best time management advice for me, it comes from my mentor, Johnny Pineda. And like he says, you need to have your priorities straight. Once you know your priorities, your day will be a lot easier. What are you proud of so far in your career? You know, uh, I learned everything on my own to an extent. But what I am super proud about my career is that I have been able to help my current company and team and sales leaders um, improve the processes and help other agents make money. Your best uh, time management advice. Best time management advice? Yeah. Um, wake up very earlier than everyone. No, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys and Twice for having me over. Appreciate it. And you could find Jesse on his Enterprise account. Let's book a call with him. Book a call with Jesse and be safe because anyone, everyone needs an insurance, especially health insurance. Bye.